people are so disconnected from the reality of the scriptures that they don't understand they don't understand it and you have to use examples from today's time to see the reality of the scriptures because when you understand the reality of the scriptures or at least scripture times it changes everything and I'm going to give you two examples one example is the Apostle Paul and this man his greatest desire it seemed was to go to preach the good news in Rome now when we hear the word Rome today I mean Rome's one of my favorite cities in Europe it's a wonderful vacation and destination place to go so when we hear that many of us can easily believe well what's so bad about Rome but we don't understand Paul's desire to say he was going to go to Rome that's like standing on the street corner in the middle of Iran or Iraq today or going even worse going to the to the, to the, to the president or whatever they call them the leader of the Iraqi people and preaching the good news when we connect that to how severe it was what Paul was trying to do maybe we can have a bigger understanding of the reality of the scriptures for what it was and we don't just hear Rome the destination spot we hear wow that's like seeing a man on the news going uh, you know we see all these people being recruited by ISIS to go there and join them well can you imagine if you've seen somebody in the news saying I want to go to ISIS and preach the gospel we would say that, that man's crazy throw him in a nut house <laughs> well, that's what people say but that's what the Apostle Paul did when he went to Rome that's how severe it was and that was the connection people don't people don't get that to stay here Rome but that is crazy and another thing is we look at these jail that the, the prison is on pickup trucks going through the streets in northern Iraq or wherever they are well you know when people hear that Peter the jail cell was opened and Peter was set free we think of it like oh like a, the show on TV the Dukes of Hazard, where you had one little sheriff or deputy watching a little cell and the cell opened and they snuck out the window no it was a, 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 a such an amazing act as those trucks would stop in ISIS on the news those trucks would stop and, and the people would freeze and the cell would be open and those people would just the prisoners would just walk out or, or the guy that was about to be headed all of a sudden he would just get up and walk away that's the connecting the, the, and understanding scripture for what it was to what it is today but we've lost that we've lost that because we read these stories and we don't understand the severity of these stories until we listen to what I'm saying right now and connect it and to see that's that's how miraculous these things were yeah it seems amazing and miraculous the, the, the Red Sea opening and parting absolutely it seems amazing and miraculous but we don't understand how amazing it was what Paul did and what and what, what happened with Peter in the cell and with so many other examples that we can give over these things I mean Paul getting stoned and beat up and sub and getting on his feet and going to preach the good news another day I mean hey you know we see Rocky on TV and we think hey the man got knocked out and he came up and he won the fight I mean, that's nothing compared to what Paul did the man got hit in the head with a stone and got up and kept preaching I mean we don't we don't connect it we don't get it and until we get that connection of what actually happened during scriptural time, when we read scripture, that's what we need to think. Okay, how can we take that? See, we try to go back to biblical times, but we can't connect with biblical times. But let's change it around. How could we take it to biblical times and see something happening today uh, that's, that's similar to that so we can, we can make that connection?